how is it going so you voted you want to see a review on gucci bamboo and i'm actually going to give you a little bit more of a review because i feel like this perfume really deserves it it's a pretty pretty new fragrance i think it came out in 2015 but just how they designed it why they named it what they named it everything that i've heard about it i just really feel like it deserves more content behind it and we'll get into that right now so just to start with the name gucci bamboo why did they name it that a lot of people including myself were super disappointed and maybe even not just disappointed but like really confused when they originally smelled the fragrance because it doesn't smell like what you would perceive something that bamboo would smell like like bamboo i guess you would perceive it to be more of like a an oriental floral fragrance something more exotic and this isn't that because it isn't named bamboo because any of the notes are bamboo in it or even why it smells or because it smells like bamboo it's named gucci bamboo because of gucci's history so a lot of uh, fragrance houses will name or have a fragrance that's centered around one of their most popular handbags and that's the case in this scenario so Gucci had a handbag, I think it came out in 1947, around, I believe it was World War, World War II. And during that time, they had a lot of rations going on. They, uh, the craftsmen at that company were not able to use a lot of the materials that they usually made to create clothing and accessories. So they dug their heels in and they really found a way to produce a bag with the materials that were available and one of those materials were bamboo from Japan. It was plentiful, it was tons of it available. So they used that bamboo to create the, um, the handle for that bag. And for the material, they usually used like pig skin. So it became iconic, it's a huge bag. It's even, it's still being sold today in so many different variations, you see it all the time. Uh, I think back in the day, Elizabeth Taylor would rock it. All the way up to uh, Princess Diana would wear it. Now you see Beyonce, Florence from Florence and the Machine. I mean, it's, it's, it's a huge popular bag and it's not going anywhere. And that's why they named it Gucci Bamboo. Okay. And actually the top is supposed to look like a Gucci Bamboo shoot. Is it called a Bamboo shoot? I think it is. Yeah. So that's why the top looks like that. And that's why they named it that. It's like an ode to the history of the fragrance house. So, as I stated, I thought this was going to be a super, super, super oriental, exotic, maybe like a lot of jasmine in there, just like a really seductive fragrance. And it is, but not in the sense that I thought it was going to be based off of the name. This fragrance, I'm gonna say who this fragrance, I think this fragrance is for, and last I'll get into the notes. I really feel like this fragrance is for a, a mysterious woman. A woman that has a little bit more beyond the surface, if you know what I mean. Like she, she's very interesting. She's not a boring woman at all. Um, she presents herself as a very feminine woman, but underneath she has the strength of a man and masculine tendencies in the sense that if she sees something that needs to be done she gets it done that's what i think of when i smell this fragrance yeah i i say this fragrance works for all ages it really works for all ages i can honestly and you may not agree once you smell this fragrance but i can see a high school girl that's like the really cool like studious girl that maybe um, it's like a coder or something. So a girl that's like really interesting, has really cool hobbies. Maybe she plays the flute. Just someone that has something more going on to them. I think feel like she would be drawn to this fragrance. Works for all ages to me. Because it's not super heavy. It's not a super heavy, heavy fragrance, but it does have depth. Um, so that's who I see wearing this fragrance. I just told you who I could see wearing this fragrance and now I will tell you why. So let's get right into the notes. This fragrance, I did not like it. I did not like her. And I was very disappointed because everyone raved 
about this fragrance. I mean, it was everywhere. Everyone talking about this fragrance. And I didn't like her when I first smelled her because right off the bat, when you spray this perfume, there is a piercing, I mean, piercing bergamot note. And it, I mean, like singed the, the hair out of your nostrils, bergamot note. Um, so I didn't like it. But once you get past that note, and I, and I honestly wish they would have opened it differently because I deem it harsh. Um, but once you get past that very strong, stark, sharp opening, and then it goes right into um, white florals. So it has the Ylang Ylang in there. And I actually thought it was Honeysuckle, which is one of my favorite scents, but sometimes your Ylang Ylang smells like that, but there's your Ylang Ylang in there. There's Casablanca Lily. And what, what's the other note? There's Orange Blossom. So that's what really keeps it like really light and airy. And that's why I said I wouldn't be opposed to a very young girl wearing this fragrance because it has those, light, those very light white florals and the orange blossom that again has depth but it's not really deep and heavy this is described as a floral woodsy note i'm sorry floral woodsy fragrance and i would agree with that um it really the thing that you smell the most is going to be on the bottom note it's going to have amber in there so that that just it, it makes it a little bit more sultry. This is a sultry fragrance, and that's why some people say that it's great for date night. Um, and then it also has sandalwood. So the sandalwood in there just reminds me like a really a nice, light version of sandalwood, very beachy, um, almost like a, a wet wood in the best way. Air dried, almost air dried wet wood fragrance. Um, and thank God, those fragrances, the white florals and the base notes, that's what you're going to smell most. Um, another note in there, which is a base note that just ties everything together and makes it a little bit more feminine because I honestly could deem this fragrance a little bit unisex. Just, it, there, it has some notes in there that are a little bit deeper that would work for a male audience. And I could see a male wearing this as well because it's not like a bubblegum pop sweet scent. But there is vanilla in this fragrance, which gives it a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of um, more sweetness, and it just really ties everything together. This fragrance has great lasting power. Um, you can wear this all day. You still smell it on you when you go out that night. Um, it has sillage. You're going to leave a trail where you go. So if you're looking for a fragrance that has performance, you found it in Gucci Bamboo. Um, I was about to say Gucci Bamboo. <laughs> so funny but Gucci bamboo it has performance um, it lasts really long I would say this will work on someone not me because my body doesn't hold anything but I would see this working up to six hours which is amazing because it's not that expensive and you can actually find some really good deals on that I'll actually do another video spilling all the secrets and all the tea of how to get some really good deals on perfumes and build your collection fast um, but you can find this fragrance in many places. It's gorgeous. Just look at the construction. It's a very sturdy glass bottle. If you drop this, it will break. I can, I can already feel it. it is pretty heavy in the construction. Um, but it's a, it's a sturdy, nice, well-constructed bottle. Um, this is a great fragrance, I think, to add to your collection because there aren't many fragrances like it. So I would like you to check this fragrance out. Go to, I think, Ulta and Sephora. They definitely have it out for you to smell. Try to get a sample and let me know what you think. All right.